Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be sharing a very nutritional paneer burji recipe. In terms of um, ingredients, I've got some kasuri methi. I've got some frozen peas, which I've defrosted. Um, some coriander, salt according to taste. Um, some tomatoes. I've got some onion there. And then I've, I'm using a few cardamoms. Now that's optional. I've got some spinach there. And I've grated my paneer over here. Um, I've got garlic and chili there and then just from my spice dumb I'll use a bit of um, cumin seed which is your jeera and some uh, mustard seed which is your salsa and a bit of turmeric and masala. Now in terms of veggies so I've got the peas and spinach on hand so that's what I'm using. You can use whatever vegetables you've got uh, with you and uh, also you can exclude it as well because the original puruji is just with um uh, tomatoes and with onion so you can um, exclude vegetables all up if you want to so to a pan we'll add in our oil we'll then add in our cardamom and we'll add in our mustard seed and our cumin seed and we'll let that splatter for a bit and then we'll add in our diced onions we'll let that uh, get translucent once that's fried off for about two minutes we'll add in our garlic and chili and fry that off until it becomes fragrant which is about one to two minutes as well we'll then add in our tomatoes and we'll cook that off and we'll make sure we fry it off until it's cooked off now once that's done we'll add in our frozen peas fry that off for about uh, four to five minutes once that's fried off we'll add in our spinach now it might look like a lot of spinach to start off with but what we'll do is we'll keep on stirring it until it's wilted now that all my veggies are added in it i'll add in my turmeric my masala and my salt as well and then i'll give that a nice mix and i'll let that fry off for about four to five minutes until the masala is all cooked through and just making sure that you're uh, stirring it throughout the way. Once that's done, we'll then add in our paneer. Now to this, if your paneer is really dry and if your mixture is a bit dry, you can add uh, about half a cup of milk to make it a bit more um, moist. Now you can see on here, I did add in a bit of milk um, just so that it is a bit more loose and it just cooks off really well. Instead of milk, you can also add in a bit of water. Now you wanna, once you've added in your paneer, you want to cook it off for about five to six minutes, then add in your kasuri methi and your coriander, and then give that a nice mix. Now all up, this has taken me about 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes to cook. And now that's all done and we'll serve that with some really yummy roti. Um, now if you like my channel, if you like what I'm posting, feel free to like, share and subscribe. Take care guys. Bye.